My father passed away a few years back and he had chosen to be cremated. An overwhelming sense of grief overcame me one morning when I figured out that his DNA was permanently destroyed. My mom basically had a panic attack when she realized that my grandfather's DNA was completely gone. And she wanted a, a way to revolutionize the way people view death and, you know, the future of our genetic testing and the sentimental value of it, you know. He, he was a great man and there's, there's nothing left of him. My husband was diagnosed with lymphoma non Hodgkin's at age 51. And at the time of his treatment, we were told that it was not genetic, so I did not worry about my two boys and my daughter, my children or grandchildren. Didn't even think a thing about it. My son-in-law, many years later, was diagnosed, and then they find out it is genetic. I was very frightened because my father had the same cancer and then it came back, and it just shows you, you know, how much 10 years, how much they can learn, you know, about DNA. It's very important you know, for family members to save this invaluable template of genetic information. When my dad got cancer, I think that made us really open our eyes about this DNA capsule company. It made us realize how important it is. I feel it's worth it. I feel it's worth it for future generations and other people. Wouldn't it be amazing right now if you had, you know, a sample, a DNA sample of any of your grandparents, great-grandparents, and even going back farther. Well, in future generations, we'll have this. You could trace back possibly what your heritage is. I think it could be used in the future for uh, medical research, medical reasons. There's so many different things that we're going to be able to do in the future. Uh, currently, my family, we are producing this, this product. We will get together in a local place here in Lancaster and we assemble these capsules. All of the products that we use, including the packaging, are made right here in the United States. I found that the best uh, sample for future testing is blood. Blood is the highest quality and quantity of DNA, and it is the only um, sample that can be stored in a dry state and can be brought back intact uh, by the laboratory simply adding water. Just three drops of blood are stored in this dry state containing over 240,000 strands of DNA. The difficulty was coming up with something that would be unique, contemporary, solid. What would be something that you could put on your mantle that you would know it's something uh, different? So we came up with this really interesting uh, sleek design and the, even the, the front cap can be uh, engraved with the person's name. We have available uh, a limited edition that we will send out this month. Um, our next offering is a, a larger quantity that we will be sending out next month in the cherry. Um, we also are doing a limited edition white and a limited edition black. The black actually was featured on CSI, um, the premiere two years ago. Um, we also are presenting a very limited edition Swarovski piece. Well, I have a 14 year old uh, miniature pitcher and I'm going to be devastated when she passes, and I'm 21, she's 14, she's been there my whole life, you know what I mean? So, she has a bedazzled capsule, and is very to her personality, and, you know, even now I already have it ready before she even passes, and um, I love it. This gives families peace of mind, knowing their loved one's uh, genetic and medical history is preserved. Nobody likes to talk about the end. You know, it's a very hard, weird subject, but I think it's compelling almost to know I could give it to my daughter or my son and then they could pass it on from generation to generation. It's like keeping the family tree.